This place is like La Suiza de Mexico. De Mexico. <laughs> now Ari is going to drive. She thinks I'm a bad driver. No, I don't think that. <laughs> oh wow. We just ate some food. Now we want to take a walk in the forest. <laughs> We're gonna go this way. When I do this kind of walks, I'm always scared that there will be like snakes. I don't know why. The abandoned shoes. And there are horses. He says that if you want to ride a caballo. Yo no, eh, pero tú sí. Ay, no, no. Ay, no. Tienen miedo. Sí. A mí sí, a mí sí, a mí Tú sí, ¿no? Mira, puede que hacerlo. Ay, no, no. Ay. She's scared. Sí, joven, ya están acostumbrados ustedes. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo se llama este? Este se llama parrandero. Ah, parrandero. ¿Parrandero? ¿Qué significa? Like a party. Like a probador. Ah, sí está bonito. Pues está durmiendo. No hace nada. ¿No? ¿Y aquí? Ajá. Ay, ay. ¿Puedo agarrar el freno, joven? Ah, ¿esto? Sí. Ay, espera, va muy rápido. <laughs> He's saying like, you're not used to walk, right? ¿Dónde? <laughs> <laughs> De Suiza. <laughs> <laughs> sí. <laughs> a ver, ah, sí, sí. <laughs> Salud. <laughs> ¿Dónde vives? ¿Ya? Sí. Ah, era el caballo, joven. ¿San Pedro qué? Atlapulco. Es un nombre de Otomí. Significa cerro en medio de un ojo de agua. ¿Pero tú hablas otomí? No. Ah, no. Sí, mis abuelitas sí hablaba, pero ya no. No, we're going back. Llegamos. Yeah. Ah, gracias, super. I made it. Opa. <laughs> this was really unexpected, but I'm glad uh, I tried this. Un <laughs> perro. He's covered scared. <laughs> Mamma, salut. Ari has a lot, a lot of allergies. Yeah. I think I have sneezed at least like 200 times. No, pero queríamos ver a los caballos de cerca. Pero es propiedad privada, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, ok. Uh, we just parked the car here in the middle of the somewhere. I'm gonna go take a quick walk over there. Explore. Because I feel like going on a walk, but Ari has too much allergies. <laughs> so she can rest a bit. And also she walked more than me because of uh, I was on the horse. <laughs> That's true. See you in a bit. So this goes quite steep. Let's see where it leads me. From far away I thought this was a hammock. But now it's like a little shelter. That is all the way there in the car. Uh, the path is very quickly becoming something that's not a path. <laughs> The best part about walking like this, I feel is happening right here. It's like you're really like, you know, reorganizing your thoughts, but also actually emptying your thoughts sometimes and seeing things much more clear, meditating, but not only meditating, also taking the time to let your mind into a subject and let it sink a bit the same way sometimes you are like waiting in the train and you're almost like unhappy when you arrive at destination you would like almost like stay longer in your thoughts this happens to me a lot actually and I feel that in those places like, it's like super wild I don't know if this could go like for a super long time like this and actually it's not necessarily about nature nature is one of the great ways to empty your mind or just go on an adventure but they are like, uh, I also love actually urban environments. I love to explore cities as well. And it's not just about uh, uh, like outdoor, neither nature, 
because I also like to when it's about meeting people and uh, learning stuff about the culture of the area you're visiting through the people is also super interesting it's something I really want to do in other videos actually harder it's more about interactions with people could go on for forever things that we have the car and Ari is in there I would have to come back actually when I'm in Mexico like this especially like in this country or similar countries that are famous to be a bit dangerous it's actually the case like I would say for sure in the in the city if you go in the wrong neighborhood but when I'm like this in the nature it's dangerous or not maybe a bit but in Mexico I never felt the danger actually and I guess it can show up from anywhere but I don't think like you would be like kidnapped or something <laughs> like in a, in an outdoor place like this. The worst I think that would happen is more like being robbed. But people are actually nice, I think at least so far those that we met. So I think it's unlikely. This path turns out to be actually much more interesting than I thought it would be. I really want to go there. As cool as this road is, we'll have to go back down because actually Ari just called me and uh, we kind of have to go. And I was thinking that in any case she was gonna get bored now. So um, maybe another time. I always hear far away some kind of music. I don't know if it can be heard on the camera, but it like comes from the villages probably. Like I cannot tell kind of what kind of music is, maybe folklore, but maybe it's actually completely normal pop music. I don't have the ability to really tell, but it gives this ambience in the background that reminds me that yes, I'm in a forest, but I'm in a forest actually in Mexico. <laughs> Were you Hello. Poquito solo. <laughs> no, you call me by mistake. Ah, si? Sí? Sí, sí, I was hearing you saying like, even though I'm in the forest, I can ah, tell sí? that this is Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if I was like, so it's good that Ari is not with me. <laughs> okay, vamos. I think I was like up there. <laughs> 